Tex-Mex on the Camino? Boy, those pilgrims from the Middle Ages must be spinning in their grave. Or craving a burrito. For such a small city, the exit from Astorga is a tad convoluted. We start easily enough by following the yellow arrows out of the Plaza España with its 16th century town hall and then through the narrow streets where there is much to distract us. Continue following the easily spotted arrows. This is a city just waking up. We pass the Gothic style Cathedral de Santa Maria de Astorga, which started construction in 1471. As is starting to be the case, we pick up more Camino travelers on their way out of town. The path is getting crowded. Finally, after a lot of zigging and zagging, we leave town for good on Highway Alley 142 and pass Valde Viajas off to our right side. Watch for the Camino dogs. <coughs> the road sidewalk crosses over Highway A6 at the time of our walk under construction. And after about six kilometers since leaving Astorga, we arrive in tiny Murias Rechevaldo. As we hit the village's outskirts, there's this note that seems to sum up many travelers' philosophies. Run from what's comfortable. Forget safety. Live where you fear to live. Destroy your reputation. Be notorious. I've tried being prudent long enough. Now I'm mad. I like that. The route splits off from the road onto this dirt path. It's clear we're gaining altitude, but the climb is so gentle we hardly notice it. As always, watch for the bikers who really should be on the road, but... No one's arguing the point. The next town is Santa Catalina de Somoza, with this mysterious die at the beginning. Art for art's sake, I suppose. One of the Camino's quirks is how for days you may see the same people and occasionally stop to talk shop. Did you stay in Mazarif? Mm -hmm. So we were we walked to Mazarif and our hotel was in Villa Franche, I think. Uh, Villa. Via, Via Rante. Via Rente. We got there and we're like, and it was good, it was going to be another two and a half hours. So they picked us up. Did this man and his wife make it to Santiago de Compostela? Who knows? We lost touch with them the next day. And then we went from Azarif to Hospital de Obrigo. 
And then at oh, the... Oh, yeah, we stayed there. That was nice, at the, right on the bridge. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then at the, at the end of the... Four kilometers later, we come to El Gonzo, home of the Maison Cowboy, or Cowboy Bar. The place has a somewhat different atmosphere from the typical Camino bar. The food? Try the mega size empanada. So, we didn't really have any burritos. Empanada is the closest we're getting. Not really Tex Mex, but it's still good. From El Gonzo, the trail continues its slow, easy climb into the Irago Mountains. For a short distance, the path narrows and gets slightly steep and rocky as it plows through this forest. We come out onto this asphalt road and start to see a change in agriculture from large wheat fields to more cattle grazing. Trust me, the herds will get bigger. Our day ends in Rabanal del Camino, a tiny village with an astounding number of places to stay. Four albergues and seven hotels. Rabanal is one of about 40 Morogado villages in this region. Now the Morogado, numbering about 4,000, have managed over the centuries to maintain their own distinct culture which they brought from North Africa in the early 8th century. They were part of the Moorish invasion and believed to be the last Moors in Spain. Now, despite having converted to Christianity during the Reconquista, they have made it a point not to blend in with the rest of Spain. Now, having said all that, their population is declining, and places like this are trying to preserve the culture by restoring buildings and eh, essentially turning their towns into tourist attractions. Plus, with all the lodging available, they are definitely taking advantage of the Camino's popularity. Now, I might add, this isn't anything new. Rabanal was once protected by the Knights Templar as a refuge from wolves and bandits. For all the commerce here, Rabanal has a calm, polished feel. Check out the modest Iglesia de Santa Maria de la Asuncion, a quiet place which dates back to the 13th century. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> 